Hello everyone, today we will show you how to assemble a plasma ball on just one transistor in just 5 minutes. The basis of the plasma ball, which we will collect today, is the simplest scheme of the blocking generator. It consists of only 4 parts. The main part is the TS110PC15 string transformer. The high voltage winding of this transformer will remain unchanged. Here it is located on the 14th leg and the output from the coil. We will wind the two primary windings ourselves. To do this, we will use two wires. One wire is 1.5 mm in diameter and the second wire is 1 mm in diameter. Then you will need two resistors at 60 and 240 ohms, as well as a transistor. In this case, we will use the KT837 transistor. As for the transistor, this is not very important here. You can also use other transistors that are similar to it in their parameters. We have everything in stock and we'll start assembling the plasma ball. First of all, we will wind the primary windings on this transformer. First, the collector winding. It will consist of four turns of wire with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters. The high frequency current generated by the blocking generator is not dangerous, because it goes over the skin surface and creates a so-called skin effect. The first winding is ready, and now we will wind the second one with this wire with a diameter of 1 millimeter. You need to wind five turns. Both coils must be wound in the same direction. The number of turns in the windings may vary slightly in one direction or the other, this depends on which transistor is being used. If you change their number, the length of the arc will differ, but most likely in a smaller direction. The transistor itself must be installed on the radiator. We will use an aluminum radiator like this. You could, of course, lubricate the transistor with thermal paste, but in this scheme it will not be very warm, so there is no special need for thermal paste. Now we connect everything according to the scheme. As for the resistances, also in some schemes, the resistance value may differ. In some schemes, it is written 27 ohms or 47 ohms. But for this transistor, you need such resistors as are indicated on the diagram, so that everything works in the best way. Do you hear, police? This is for you. The length of the pulses generated by the blocking generator is very small. The lifetime of the pulses generated by the generator is negligible. But the frequency of these pulses is quite high. The front of the pulse is very steep. And the slice looks very much like a rectangle. Well, a simple blocking generator is ready. It remains to solder the wires to which we will supply voltage. You can test it. It is almost dark, so the plasma ball will look especially spectacular and beautiful. The supply voltage is approximately 15 volts. The voltage may be slightly lower or higher. In our case, the voltage is 14 volts. It remains to check the functionality of this device. As you can see, the blocking generator is working. A characteristic high-frequency squeak or whistle is heard. For a more reliable contact, we will now solder the bulb to this pin, and we will ground the 14th leg, that is, the second pin of the high-voltage winding. This way this scheme works much more effectively. Discharges appear even when I do not touch the surface of the lamp with my finger. The principle of operation of this device is as follows. It is constantly trying to come to its state of balance. As soon as this state is reached, the blocking generator receives additional energy.
Wow. What is this? Demon. Stop doing tricks. I don't believe you. Give it to me. It works. How does it work like this? And if you touch it? <laughs> it changes color. Since a very strong electromagnetic field is formed around this device, the fluorescent lamp begins to glow. This blocking generator can be used not only to create a plasma ball, but also to obtain a high voltage. After the voltage multiplier, it is strictly forbidden to touch the pins, since there is already a real threat to life. So, based on this blocking generator, a pretty good plasma ball is obtained. In the very near future, we want to build other high voltage devices based on this blocking generator. For example, the Jacob's Ladder, the Ionometer, and the Ionophone. Subscribe to the Invex Lab channel so that you don't miss new videos. I thank you for viewing and bye.